Hi again, this is the cool geek and in the second video of the date functions, I'm going to show you how to use today's function. Now in the previous video, we have discussed how Excel stores dates in terms of serial numbers. Please keep that in mind while we use different functions in date functions. So uh, it will be helpful to relate to the inputs that we are giving to a function. Now today's function is very simple and dynamic to, to use. You just start by typing equal to today and I press the tab button close the bracket it gives me today's date today's date is 5th may 2016 now the beauty of this function is that when you reopen excel tomorrow the date here will automatically change to 9th may 2016 so that's the use of the today's function now you can also generate today's date not in a terms of a function but simply hard coding the date by simply pressing control semicolon and it will give you today's date right for this example i'm just going to change this date to 1st april 2016 and i'm just going to put control semicolon again and change this date to 30th april 2016 but to get the difference of two dates you can simply say equal to the last date minus the start date so you'll get 29 often um, you see that you'll get a minus one if you say if you think you know first april to 38 april there are 30 days but the difference is obviously going to give us a 29 and you want to basically show that you have 30 days in this difference what you can do is based on the business requirement add one to the difference so it will give you exactly 30 days when you're differencing so just keep this in mind this has become like a instinct for me to understand and use this plus one or without uh, or a difference without the plus one and get a particular output so that's how the difference between two dates is gotten in the next video i'm going to cover how to use day and month and year function along with date function so please do watch that